Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, Doctor of Physical Therapy. In today's video, I'm going to talk about when to use an ankle brace, and equally important, when not to use an ankle brace. I'll show you three different types of ankle braces that have different degrees of support, and they would be used in different situations. I'll also include several other tips that are very handy when using a brace. If you have experienced a significant ankle injury, please be sure to see your doctor before you try wearing an ankle brace on your own. It's very important to be sure that there isn't a fracture or more significant severe injury that needs additional medical attention before you brace the ankle and return to your usual activities. First of all, what is the purpose of a brace? There are a couple main indications for wearing a brace. The first one is for joint instability following a severe joint injury like an ankle sprain. Typically, right after an ankle sprain, there's difficulty supporting the weight of the body and moving the ankle. An ankle brace provides external support that will help the ankle heal without causing additional injury so that you can walk and be mobile as soon as possible following injury. Another reason to use a brace is for a chronic tendinitis, tendinosis, or overuse type injury. In the ankle, this could be due to a calf muscle strain or Achilles tendinitis, or several other conditions around the ankle, the lower leg, and the foot. In this situation too, an ankle brace can be very helpful to provide external support to help you be mobile and move about your world while the tissues are healing and to help prevent further injury from overstretching the tissues in the area. Now, when would you want to use an ankle brace? When you're up on your feet, standing and walking. Typically, unless you're instructed otherwise, there's really no point in wearing it when you're sitting, resting, or sleeping. As your condition improves, you want to gradually wean from using the ankle brace all of the time and use it more sparingly. Use it when you're trying to increase the distance or the duration of standing and walking or when you transition to walking on uneven ground like grass or gravel or dirt or if you're trying to return to running or other sports type activity that is more demanding or challenging on the ankle. It's important to give your ankle time to restore strength and flexibility naturally from the inside out instead of relying on the brace to do that work for you. So the brace is a tool, but it's meant to be used in combination with a, a progressive gradual rehabilitation process. You also don't wanna use a brace to do any type of activity that you know your tissue is not ready to do yet. So if you really miss your sport and you know your ankle isn't ready to do that activity yet, it's not a good idea to just slap on a brace and hit the court or hit the field. That may result in further injury to that area or a different area of your body because your entire body isn't ready to perform that activity yet. So listen to your body, respect the amount of healing time necessary for the injury and use the brace only for gradual progressive return to activity, not to make a big leap back to a prior level of, of activity. Now there are some exceptions to the guidelines around weaning from the use of an ankle brace, and that would be for extreme conditions such as severe chronic weakness following a stroke or a spinal cord injury, where an ankle brace is a useful long-term tool to help somebody walk and move after the point where their ankle or their tissues have already achieved their maximum recovery and they still need additional external support. In those situations, then it's great to continue using an ankle brace. However, it's important for that process to be guided by a professional, by your doctor, physical therapist, or other rehabilitation professional to help you choose the best brace for your condition and guide you through the appropriate uses of that brace. For the purposes of this video, I'm addressing temporary conditions where we're expecting full recovery. Okay, let's talk about the best way to choose a brace. The first thing is to consider how much support you need. For a severe ankle sprain where there's a lot of joint laxity or instability and weakness, you may wanna choose a firm support, the, the most support to prevent any excessive motion while you're walking. For a more moderate injury or for a chronic overuse condition, you may choose a moderate level of support. 
And then for a mild injury, just a mild tweak or a mild uh, muscle strain, you may want to choose just a mild level of support to help you with your mobility and activities and sports and such things. The second thing to consider is the size. Some braces are adjustable and some braces come in a fixed size, typically small, medium, and large. Be sure to look at the package when you're choosing a brace to see what the size configuration is. Typically, if it's a fixed size, the package will include the parameters for measuring your ankle at a particular place in order to choose the appropriate size. Also, some braces are adjustable to fit the left or the right leg, and some are fixed, left leg and right leg. Be sure to check the package to choose the right one for you. Finally, you may want to consider the fabric of the brace. Typically, the firmer support, the more dense the fabric is going to be, and the less breathable it's going to be. It'll probably be hotter. Braces with more mild support tend to be made with more flexible, breathable, lighter fabrics, which are a lot more comfortable, but don't provide as much support. So that's another thing to consider as you're looking through braces. Now I'm going to show you examples of three different braces and show you how to put them on and off. Okay, the first brace I'd like to show you is Firm Support. Another name for this type of brace is an Aircast. That's the, the brand name uh, that you'll frequently see. This provides rigid support for an ankle sprain or a severe ankle injury. It limits lateral movement of the ankle to prevent a further sprain. First thing we'll do is open the straps. Now with any of these braces, just take a quick look at the brace and see if there's any indication of a top or bottom, inside or outside, uh, left or right, et cetera. Some braces do come with indications. And if they have that, you wanna follow it. If there's no indication, then, then you can put it either way. Then there's no specific way that it has to go. And that's the case with this brace. Okay, so we'll open the brace. This part here on the bottom goes underneath the foot just in front of the heel. So I'll put it under my foot, just like that. And now this cushion on the base, the cushion on the bottom of the brace should go right over my ankle. Now let me take a moment just to mention these are not the best socks for this brace. Ideally, for this brace, you'll wanna wear a sock that comes up above the top of the brace so that you have full coverage. This is kind of a plasticky um, cover on the brace here, and this would not be very comfortable on my bare skin for a long period of time. So again, ideally you'll wanna have a calf high uh, sock with this. Okay, so we'll take the brace and put it over the ankle on the, on the inside and over the ankle on the outside. Make sure the brace is even on the inside and outside with each other. So when you look straight down your leg, it should be lined up like this, not forward and not back, but centered over the ankle bone and then straight up the inside and the outside of your leg towards your knee. Okay, so now we'll wrap the Velcro around the outside of the brace and continue looping it around and then attach it to the back, strap that down. And same thing with the other strap. Loop it around the base and pull it snug but not tight. And then strap the Velcro down. Okay, so this provides excellent support and it does not let my ankle rotate in and out. So when I'm standing with this brace, I can't roll my ankle in or out. So it prevents any further ankle sprain. Okay, let's move on to the second brace. Okay, the second brace I'll show you today is a moderate support brace. This is, it's labeled as a performance support, meaning this could be appropriate for, for recreational activities and sports. It could also be great just for additional support walking if you don't need a maximum or firm support brace. Now this brace is made out of neoprene. It might be comfortable on bare skin or it might be more comfortable over a thin sock really depends on your body and how you're going to use this brace. So we'll open the Velcro. Okay, looking at it this way, it's pretty clear that this hole is meant for my heel and where this fabric is, that will go along the back side of my lower calf, along my Achilles tendon. All right, 
So I'll slip my heel right into that hole there, get it nice and even. And then the first wrap will be the top one. We'll wrap the loose end over the front of the ankle and then the end with the Velcro goes over the top. Pull snug but not tight and put the Velcro down there. Now the next strap is going to cross the first strap we did. So I'm going to pull this outer strap across to cover the first strap. All right, and then the final strap will come across this way and attach just below the very first strap. So that's a good indication that you have the alignment correct, is that these straps line up here and then this one goes in the middle. So the straps are crisscrossed on the top of the ankle. This strap still provides some limitation to movement, but I can turn my foot in and out. So this strap would not prevent an ankle sprain the way that the rigid support strap does, but it still provides external support. And I would be less likely to sprain or to um, worsen a tendonitis issue with use of this type of brace. Okay, let's move on to the third brace. The third brace is a mild compression support sleeve. This is just a basic fabric sleeve that will provide a little bit of compression and a little bit of limitation to movement. Okay, so this is just basic fabric here. It's not rigid at all, there are no straps. This is simply a pull-on to fit type sleeve. So this one, for example, is labeled small. The other braces I showed you were adjustable. So with this support sleeve, there's a chart on the back to show how to choose which size based on measurements at the angle. So based on this end of the sleeve being smaller and this end being larger, that gives me a good indication that this end is for the foot and this end is for the calf. So I'll just slide this on right over my sock. You can wear this over a sock or over your bare skin. See what feels most comfortable for you. Okay, I'll pull this up so that my heel goes right into that hole there. And pull that up nice and snug. Okay, now with this sleeve, I feel a little bit of compression and support through the ankle, but I can still move my ankle quite a bit. I can move it in every direction. All right, and this feels snug, but not too tight. It feels like it'll stay on without excessively squeezing my leg or my foot. So let's move on to some tips for choosing the best fit. Now, to make sure that your ankle braces fit properly, a couple things you wanna look for. You don't wanna see any change in skin color. Your skin should not turn red, blue, purple, white, any other color other than its typical color. Secondly, you don't wanna see any swelling. You shouldn't be developing any sausage toes or any thickness or any additional fluid in your foot below the brace. The third thing is you shouldn't experience any numbness or tingling, no pins and needles. Now, every time that you take the brace off, check your skin underneath where the brace was in contact with your skin. Be sure that you don't have any blisters, abrasions, pinch points, or anything like that. If you do notice those things, then be sure to adjust the brace. You might need to either take your sock off or add a sock. You might need to change the thickness of the sock um, make sure that there are no folds or creases in your sock underneath the brace and no folds or creases in the brace itself. So those are all things to look for to be sure that your skin isn't experiencing any injury or damage because of the use of the brace. If you notice any rash on your skin, it might indicate an allergy to the type of fabric of the brace. If that's the case, you might get away with wearing a sock that fully protects your skin underneath the brace. Otherwise, you might need to look for a brace made out of a different fabric in order to avoid that allergic reaction. Okay, finally, taking care of the brace. This part is the simplest part of all. You wanna hand wash the brace in warm soapy water and hang it to dry. Don't put it in the washing machine or the dryer and don't use bleach or any other harsh chemicals on it. Warm soapy water is plenty strong enough to clean the brace. All right, and this wraps up my video on wearing an ankle brace. 
I hope you found this information helpful for you to choose a brace appropriate for your injury or your condition, and ultimately to help you get back to doing the things that you love to do every single day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.